Do not go to Maui right now. Help everybody either evacuate or rebuild. Hi everybody, it's Peter Greenberg here with an update on the current situation after the devastating fires on the island of Maui. Uh, the town of Lahaina no longer really exists. The harbor doesn't exist anymore. The roads have been closed. It's basically a triage area as people are still managing to evacuate and the death count continues to rise. Those of you who had plans to vacation in Maui, may I emphasize this is not the time to go. The airlines are issuing waivers, allowing you to rebook your flights and your dates and even your destinations at no penalty or fees. You'll have to negotiate with individual hotels to see if they'll issue their own waivers as well. Most of them have been doing a good job of that. Keep in mind that Southwest Airlines and other airlines have lowered their airfares to basically at cost, $19 tickets, but that's not for you. That's for second responders to get in with more supplies, as well as to evacuate the people there, either to neighbor islands or back to the mainland. There are ways that you can help, ranging from Maui First, uh, the Maui First Fund, uh, Maui Strong, and of course the American Red Cross. If you're donating to the American Red Cross, make sure you say it's earmarked for Maui Hawaii Relief. Do not go to Maui right now. Help everybody either evacuate or rebuild. The rebuilding process is gonna take at least five years, but there will be a time in the not too distant future. I'm saying about six months from now, when I will encourage you to go back to, to Maui, not just to lay at the beach or be at the resort, but to be on the ground and help out in any way you can as well. They need your help. Right now they need money, they need support, and then they'll need your physical presence. But for the time being, please do not go to Maui.